The aim of this video is to help you understand the main features of a short story. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because all of you need to write a short story for your upcoming portfolio assessment task, and you also need to create a creative piece of writing in your HSC examination for uh, section two of paper one. So to be able to do this properly, you need to understand what the main features of a short story are so that you're doing them properly. So we'll get into it. What is a short story? A short story is a brief narrative which represents events, places, and characters with one main idea in mind. It is a text that's designed to be read in one sitting. And some purposes for short stories can include pleasure, entertainment, inspiration, education, to present an opinion, or even for the purpose of transforming the reader. Our short stories for assessment tasks and the HSC examination are designed to be roughly between 800 and 1,000 words. Let's talk about a few main elements of a short story. Conventions. Think of conventions like rules. They're designed to give a reader um, expectations about how a particular text is arranged and should be constructed and the type of reading experience that the responder can expect when they start to read the text. Some conventions of a short story include a clear narrative structure, so orientation, complication, sequence of events, and a resolution. A focus on one particular complication and incident. It's not complex like a novel with multiple complications occurring throughout. It usually has one clear complication, it has one or two settings, one main protagonist, and several other secondary characters. Now these conventions of a short story can be subverted to create particular effects, and more effective writers don't just follow standard conventions, but they try to subvert conventions to create something interesting and engage the reader. The next part to think about with a short story is codes. So codes help composers create a more interesting and engaging narrative. They kind of ensure that you include all the important elements um, to make the story interesting and engaging for the reader. So the first code is the character code. Think about how you will reveal the character to the reader. So this can be our DASIT elements of characterization, which you may remember from last semester, the description, action, speech, interaction, and thoughts of the characters how will you reveal the character to the reader throughout your story. Two, the suspense code. Consider how you will play with the reader in what information you reveal, at what times, and what information you will keep from the reader to build suspense and mystery and ultimately create a more satisfying story. Three, the plot code. Consider how you will organize the events of the story in an order that will maximize the impact and engagement of your story. Four, the structural code. Now, this is also known as the idea code or the theme code. Consider how your story will be structured around one main idea. In the area of study, obviously, the main idea that our story should explore is the concept of discovery. And within that, a particular aspect or aspects of discovery in the story. And five, cultural code. Consider how you can engage the audience using references to culture. Basically, what culture is your story set in? Is it set 50 years ago or is it set in modern day Australia? Is it set within a kind of teenage culture where teenagers would understand it? Or does it have some more adult themes? Think also about how the, the cultural code that you create in your story will be similar or different to the culture of the reader that is reading your story. So in this video, I've just pointed out a few of the major elements that go into creating a really effective short story. And hopefully this will help you to plan a short story that is holistic, that contains all these elements in some form, and therefore be a more engaging and interesting short story for the reader to read.